landscaping. You can kind of see how it's incorporated. And um, Jack and Babylon are out here right now. They're up here. I'm going to go inside the aviary in a minute and try and record them and maybe we'll get them flying. We'll see. Okay, so here's Jack and Babylon. Um, let's see. I hope I'm getting a good picture. This is Jack right here. He's the boy, obviously. You can tell because he's got a little orange beard. She plucked his feathers off a years ago and they came in orange. And right here we have Babylon, my hen. And um, you can tell she's sitting kind of low. Hens tend to sit low. Boys tend to sit high. And uh, she's, uh, um, she's pretty much my bird and gets anything she wants. If she wants a boyfriend, she gets to have a boyfriend. I'll pull back and you can kind of see the setup here. It's an aviary. And um, I have, um, let's see, I have a water dishes in here. I notice they like to take baths when they're outside. They seem to favor that. And I also have a bird bath in here. I'll try and pan to that. Which, um, I've seen Babylon stick her toe in there once and then fly away. So, uh, the moral of the story is don't buy expensive things and expect your birds to play with them. And we'll go back up. And you can see the two of them. And give them a minute or two, I think they'll interact. I don't know if they're going to fly. They're kind of having a nice time out here. They, they've got good sun, fresh air, and uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful September day, and they're just uh, pretty much interacting. Uh, let's see if I can get another angle here. Hang on, cuties. I'm not the world's best photographer. You can see he's putting his head down for her to scratch his head. Yeah. And now she's scratching his head, which they do. They feed and they breed each other, pretty much. And uh, she doesn't have a lot of tolerance for him in the house. But on the aviary, when I'm not here, and for some reason in the aviary, she seems a lot more tolerant of him and will spend more time with him. <laughs> and you can see. Hi, cuties. I'm not going to make them fly because they're just too darn cute. So we'll go visit the other birds a little bit more but Jack and Babylon. Now you can really see the little orange. Yes, there he is. Hi Jack. Hi honey. Hi Babylon. Yeah. Yes. Now you kind of see it. He used to have orange on his head but that's grown back right now. When he first came she pulled a lot of feathers out of his head and they came in orange. See there's a crow and notice how they're interested in the crow which is good. Because a crow could be a predator, and I'm con I worry about predators out here. Uh, raccoons and cats. We've had a cat visitor. It's a neighbor's cat, which is probably pretty harmless, but I want them to be a little nervous about it. Anyway, okay, well, I'm going to leave these two go. We'll go visit the other aviary. Well, this is the same aviary, but I thought I'd get a, another vantage point on it before I went to the um, backyard where the other aviary is. Oh, it's not very good with the camera here. Okay. Okay, this is back with Jack and Babylon. Uh, and he's in the background yelling. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh, pan in, pan out. We want to pan out, I think. I was hoping I could get somebody to fly, but... <laughs> uh, I think the hard part is getting them to fly and also holding the camera. Um, <laughs> because I don't recall Jack. I can target flying him, but I don't want him flying on me because he can bite. Um, he doesn't, I know it sounds like he's vicious, and he certainly isn't. He's a very loving, happy-go-lucky kind of boy. However, just once in a while, if he gets scared, he bites. So I just thought, no reason to get him flying on me. Um, so I usually target fly him. And if you go up by pan over here, you can see this is their little carrying cage, and this is how I put them in to take them back and forth from the aviary. Uh, and I just don't think I can, <laughs> let me think about this. I can show you Jack's cutest trick. It's like this. I asked Jack an important math question. The math question is, Jack, what's pi divided by six? Jack, oh, there's something startling moment. Jack, 
Oh, you have to think about it. You do have, you have to think about it. Me too, good boy. And that's Jack's trick. Eh, Babylon's got a bunch of tricks, so you can see she's starting to say beak. Come here, honey. Babylon. Hi, baby. You want to wave? Hi, baby. Wait, hi, baby. Hi, baby. What is this? Can you say what this is, baby? What is this? Oh, beak. Very good. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay. It's hard to do this and hold the camera. And they are eating their treats. I think I'll have to get them in the house to play with flight with them in a more familiar environment. There just aren't a lot of places for them really to fly here. I mean, there are. But <laughs> they're not used to being targeted to these places. So I would have to work at it with more focus than this allows. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Give one more shot. Okay. 